Now we're going to start the power testing. All right, we're going to test four or five slugs, different weights, and get us a chart with the feet per second and everything else. So that way you have an idea on how much air is being used per shot, feet per second, and the foot-pounds of energy. Because these unregulated guns aren't all equal. You're not using 300 PSI per shot on all five shots. The first shot always uses more air. So if you're looking to cloverleaf or keep a tight group, it's not going to happen with these unregulated. Okay, I've shown you in the videos before at the outdoor 50 yards. First shot's on the bullseye, second shot's about an inch under, and then the third under that, and so on. So you've got a line of bullets like peas in a pod. That's unregulated. Now, the closer we can get our air consumption, the closer the bullets tighten up. So that's why regulators are so popular. So, one, here we go. This is what we're dealing with from the previous video, the open box. We've got our Element 58. We've got the uh, ATN on there. Barrel band from uh, Black Arts Design. I got my suppressor on here uh, from uh, Neil Clegg at Air Strippers. And I picked this up off eBay. I suggest picking, you, they're El Cheapo, you know, $8, $9. Get yourself a spanner wrench. Okay, I don't know what you call it, but this way you can hook that lock ring right there and make sure that is tight so your shroud isn't moving. You know, some of these guns after a while get a little bit loose. You know, 12 bucks lets you crank that down. Otherwise, you're going to have to grab it with a monkey wrench and then deal with some scratches. Um, but it's worth the investment. The holes on there, just sticking something in and trying to torque it is not going to get it as tight as you want it. Because you don't want things moving with the amount of air and power that's coming out of this. So, let's get started with the 58 element power video. We get our numbers. And this is brought to you from Terry Fox at Fox Air Power. He's the one that sent me this. I couldn't do this without, you know, the assistance of you know the AEA community so you get any questions for Terry about the gun pricing things of that nature you can check out his website I'll put it right here www.foxairpower.com any questions about bullets Robert Vogel aka Mr. Hollow De Mr. Hollow Point Hollow Point don't listen to those other people Mr. Hollow Point, that's the name. So, let's get some boring shooting, guys, because this is the boring part of the video. It's all about numbers. Then, we'll go outside and we'll get us some accuracy, and that's where we'll shoot more bullets, different weights, to see how they're grouping. There's no sense in shooting 10 different weights indoors, because it's just going to be a fractional difference. So outside is where the real playtime comes. Thank you, gentlemen. Let's have some fun. These are the bullets I'm going to start with for weight, for speed testing. Now, I have a gazillion weights, but there's no sense in me speed testing 10, you know, 10, 15 different slugs where there's only a 10, 15 grain difference between them. I'm just trying to find an average with these. So, the lightest 302. The 400, the 475, the 520, and the 650. I thought this was a nice spread on weight. But usually on the Element Max, I go with something lightweight. So, you know, it would be these two or possibly the 460. But there's no sense in me doing every single slug out there. So that's what we're going to start with. Okay, gentlemen. We're going to start with the 302. Up, forwards, drop it in, push it forwards, back and down, 4,500 PSI. So you got to put the cheaters on. 
that is the 302 which I'm pleasantly happy with at this yardage alright now we'll do the 400 Okay, chicken pluckers. All right, so at almost 890 feet a second, this 302, which you can see has got a pretty deep cavity, in this ballistic gel, you know, as the bubble ex expands and contracts, we pull this out at the six inch mark. And look at that, that is. That is flat, gentlemen. That is flat. There you go. That's like a nickel or a quarter. Okay. This is the 400 grain, which is the bullet I actually designed for this for the Zeus, the lightweight Zeuses. We got 400 grain. Perfect. Almost 11 inches into this uh, ballistic gel, and that's got a much more conservative cavity. Uh, more of a, a aerodynamic taper to the nose and it's still penetrated you're talking bone breaker here buddy this is going to smash and blow up some vital organs this is a fun job so gentlemen we've done done we finished with the power testing I thought I turned this off hang on there we go now we turned it off so we've shot five different weights and this rifle, as with most of the elements, your first three shots are going to be your best, okay? Uh, the 45, the 50, and the 510, you can get a fourth shot and a fifth shot with the lighter slugs. But with the 58, your first three are going to be your best. Actually, the first two is where the speed's at, and then the third is a Hail Mary. I wouldn't even bother with the fourth or the fifth. Um, on the lightweight slugs, the 302, one, two, three, four was decent. On the 400 grain, the first three were pretty good. 475, see, as we get heavier, uh, then it's just, you know, shot one and two. Uh, the same with the 520 and the 650. Um, I'll put them up here in the chart. And as you can see, with the 302, if the accuracy is good, that's going to be a sweet bullet. 530 foot-pounds for the first shot, 457 for two, 410 for three. See, it's dropping quite a bit. This is a short air tube, unregulated. This is more or less like a powerful long-barreled pistol. And as long as you know that going into it, you're going to have a lot of fun. You're not going to have a problem. But this is not a five-shot or six-shot rifle like the Challengers are or the full-powered Zeus's, if Zeus's is a term for plural. So, the 400 grain, which is kind of my favorite hunting slug at the moment for the 58, 590. That's, that's you know, pretty good punch for foot-pounds. Second shot drops quite a bit, 507. The 475, again, your high, first shot's always your best, 619 foot-pounds. 
the 520, 637 foot-pounds. You can see it's climbing, but that's just due to weight. You, the speed isn't there, in my opinion. 743 feet a second isn't enough with a 520. I like being higher than that. Then the 650 uh, was 674 feet a second, or 655. Now, granted, it's the most foot-pounds, but it doesn't do what I want it to do, as in dumping that energy. So for speed, definitely the 302 and the 400. Um, you know, with this, I may have to make something like a 420 now, which I really don't want to do, because I think we have plenty of slugs for every type of animal that walks on this planet. So that's our speed. Now we have to worry about accuracy, which will be the next video when we're able to get out at 50 yards and see what type of grouping. <laughs> but you will see as just even at the 15 yards, you're going to have that one, two, three, four peas in a pod. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> you're not going to be clover leafing because of the air consumption on each shot is less and less and less with the speed as it exits. Um, but what do you think of that ballistic gel? Uh, granted, that stuff is hard, but it does punch a wallop. It gives you the, about the best that I can deal with or find at the moment for flesh and organs and bone. So you know if it does a great job on that ballistic gel, it's going to do a better job in the side of a hog or a big old buck. So, again, extremely happy and blessed with this. Uh, this might be my pork slam rifle. I don't know at the moment. Things always change as we get closer and closer to September. But, okay, standard features again. 20-inch barrel, uh, shorty air tube. I don't know what that is. Let me put my foot up there. That's a, tw that's a 12, so I don't know. 10, 11 inches of air tube, uh, pick rail, single shot, thumb cock, nice safety, loading port forward, put in your slug, push it till it's snug, bring it back and close it, down, you're ready to go. Um, folding stock, I don't like it all, um, but that's what it comes with for the moment. Uh, threaded barrel, put a suppressor. Definitely barrel band. It's a good, lightweight hunting setup. So if you guys are looking for something to throw in the back glass of your truck, like we used to do in the 70s, this would fit the ticket. Um, again, side probe fill. So just got to remember when you unhook your stuff, it's on this side, not this side or underneath. Um, again, any questions about the rifle, pricing, availability, Contact Terry Fox at Fox Air Power. Anything about bullets, hollow points, or just damn good looks, contact me, Robert Vogel, Mr. Hollow Point. Uh, the Rico Suave of the air gun world. So that's it. That is our power setup. There's not a lot to do. Like I said, it's just shooting a ton of bullets, getting all your numbers, repeating, repeating, repeating. So we know what our constant usage is. Um, and then going out, you know, and at 50, 60 yards, see how we can throw them down. Thank you for watching. Mr. Hollow Point is out of here, brother. Mm -hmm.